it looks like this year's iPhones might start featuring something that Steve Jobs would have never approved of. The Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and Galaxy Watch Active were just spotted in the wild in South Korea, and it looks like the headphone jack is officially dying on Samsung phones, as uh, we've already got some official leaks, pretty much. I'm Jaime Rivera. I apologize for the face I've been flying and traveling. We're now in Mumbai, still in India. My God, your food, people from India, is crazy amazing, and I love your country. This is Now Daily. Yes, this media tour in India has been fantastic. Really got to thank MediaTek for bringing us over. The experience has been great. Let's begin today with deals. Let's start with uh, the fact that it's really rare to see the Nike Plus variant of the Apple Watch being discounted, but now we've got some really good ones. You can pretty much get them for almost $100 off. If you go for the sale and add the code PLAY30, you can get certain cellular configurations as well for as little as $3.93 shipped and down pretty much from the price tag of $3.99 if you do the math. Obviously, Apple Watch Series 4 is my favorite, and yeah, the Nike Plus variant is pretty much the same thing. You can learn more about it in the description. I do recommend it. Now let's talk about Intel as a, the company has really not had a great couple of years. They've been really slow to innovate, but now we finally get information on their new 10th generation processors. We can pretty much expect up to 11 new processors built on their new sunny core architecture, ranging from the lower tier dual core i3 to the quad core i7. With this new architecture, the chips can handle 18% more instructions per clock than before, and other improvements include faster AI computation, support for up to four Thunderbolt ports, and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. Obviously, that's the roadmap and the products. We don't know exactly when we're getting the first device, but we're getting close to IFA, so hopefully we get something announced there. We'll keep you posted. Now let's move the spotlight to Apple and iPads as, uh, well, Apple continues to play around with their designs and everything we're getting, and uh, apparently there will be a change at the entry level. It seems that Apple, according to Digitimes, will be replacing the 9.7-inch entry-level iPad for the new 10.2-inch iPad, which is pretty much the air, I guess, by the end of September. Digitimes' timing isn't as reliable, so it could also launch in October. And this is one of the model numbers that we actually found in the Eurasian database. And that's just one source. Obviously, Ming-Chi Kuo has also stated that this might be a possibility. So uh, yeah, buyers beware. I might as well wait for the next generation iPads because the larger screen is a larger screen. Now let's move the spotlight over to Samsung as, uh, well, this is one of the last knights in shining armor that offers a headphone jack on phones, and it's been all controversy with the Galaxy Note 10 and the rumors that we might not be getting the headphone jack. And now we've got some official leaks of the dongle. So yeah, the dongle looks pretty much like what we get with Pixels, where we are featured DAC and everything. Apparently the price will be between eight and $12 for the dongle. We're not exactly sure if it'll get AKG calibration. And we're not sure if the headphones that are gonna come in the box are gonna bring USB-C or 3.5 millimeter and force you to use the dongle. But we're actually hoping that that's the case because USB-C headphones are a nightmare. I'd rather have the 3.5 millimeter and the dongle than just the USB-C headphones. But that's just me. We'll see what we get. And since we're talking Samsung, how about if we discuss that Galaxy Note 10? Obviously, we can't wait to see the final design. We've been seeing renders all over and leaks and stuff. Now it's been spotted in the wild, and I think that's the first time where we notice the punch hole in the middle. We notice that they're very minimalistic bezels, but most important, there's apparently a Galaxy Watch Active included in the mix, and apparently it's not the same one that already exists seems that Sammy might be working on a change. Hopefully that's the case as that active, in my opinion, was a little too small for my taste. But yeah, the Note 10 looks great. Hopefully it'll live up to that. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with a feature that we can't believe is going to reach iPhones, but according to analysts, it will. If you remember the presentation of the original iPhone in 2007, Steve Jobs came to stage and he's like, who wants the stylus? You lose them and yeah, those were his words. But uh, according to analysts, it might be that uh, the higher end models, iPhone 11 and 11 Max, will be supporting Apple Pencil. So notice, obviously you'll have to buy an Apple Pencil. It's a separate accessory. It's not that you have a stylus and you need for this to interact with the phone, like PDAs used to be back in the day when Steve Jobs made the quote. And we've even had pretty much Tim Cook talk about the fact that it would be awesome to have this functionality. Um, 
I would totally like it, but let us know in the comments down below. I mean, what do you think? Would you like for iPhones to have Apple Pencil support? Because in my case, I don't know what's taken them so long. This has been exclusive to iPads. Pretty much almost every iPad supports it now. I think every single one does actually. So why not extend the functionality to the iPhone and you choose if you want to buy the pencil or not? That's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels, English and Spanish, for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media so our extended coverage happens there. And also, follow my personal handles to see what I'm doing with these phones. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.